Now we have done with the five basic rules to convert a direct speech into indirect speech. And now we are moving towards a specific topic which is changes in tense. That what are those changes will be made when converting direct into indirect regarding the tense of the direct speech. So student, there are basically uh, three tenses in English grammar, present, past and future. So we'll look them uh, one by one. First is present tense. If the reported speech is in present tense, let's take present simple. If the reported speech of direct speech is in present simple tense, then changes will be made into past simple tense in indirect speech. For example, she said, I worked in a hospital. Now, the tense of this direct speech is present simple. When we convert this sentence into indirect speech, it becomes past simple. She said that she worked in a hospital. Taken another example, he said, I love my parents. When we convert this sentence into indirect speech, the tense will be changed into past simple. He said that he loved his parents. Next present tense is present continuous tense. So students in indirect speech, when there is present continuous tense in direct speech, it will always changes into past continuous tense. Now take an example. He said, I am waiting for someone. In this example, I am waiting. This represents or this shows that the tense of this sentence is present continuous. Now we have to change this sentence into indirect speech and we know that the present continuous tense is changed into past continuous. He said that he was waiting for someone. He was waiting. Now this one is past continuous. Take in another example. She said they are enjoying the music. She said that they were enjoying the music. Coming toward the third present tense, that is present perfect tense. Present perfect tense changes into past perfect. For example, Ali said, I have won a prize. When we convert this sentence into indirect speech, it will become Ali said that he had won a prize. And you are completely aware about the helping verbs of the both of these tenses. In present tense, we always use has and have. And in, in past perfect tense, we always use had. Take in another example. He said she has washed the shirts. Now this is in present perfect tense and we have to change it into indirect using past perfect. He said that she had washed the shirts. Coming towards the last present tense, which is present perfect continuous. And this tense will change into past perfect continuous. For example, she said, I have been working in a factory for two years. This will change into past perfect continuous in this way that she said that she had been working in a factory for last two years. Take in another example. They said, we have been living in America since 2013. So we convert this tense into past perfect continuous that they said that they had been living in America since 2013. Now let's move towards the past tense. Similarly, like present tense, uh, past tense has also uh, four kinds, past simple, past continuous, past perfect continuous and past uh, perfect tense. Let's take uh, past simple tense into account. Uh, past simple tense while changing into indirect speech, it changes into past perfect. As simple that past simple changes into past perfect. For example, he said, I started a job. Now we easily infer that a tense of this direct speech is past simple. Now immediately it comes into our mind that we have to change into past perfect. 
he said that he had started a job so you are uh, already aware about the helping verb of the past perfect which is had you should always use the word or we can say the helping verb had in past perfect tense taken another example he said to me you didn't help me he said to me that i had not helped him coming towards the next past tense which is past continuous so when past continuous changes into past perfect continuous for example he said i was writing a poem he said that he had been writing a poem now here past perfect continuous ka helping verb jo hai wo had been hai jab hum ke hamare paas jo direct speech hai usme agar tense aata hai past continuous to wo hamesha past perfect continuous mein change hoga jaise ke they said we were watching a movie jab hum isko convert karenge it will become they said they had been watching a movie coming towards the next past tense which is past perfect so student past perfect will always remain past perfects isme koi changes nahi aayengi tense mein agar direct speech ke reported uh, verb jo hai wo past perfect mein hai to indirect speech mein bhi ye past perfect mein hi rahega for example he said i had gone to home when we convert this sentence into indirect it will remain tense will remain the same he said that he had gone to home taken another example she said that i had not received the letter she said that she had not received the letter similarly students past perfect continuous will remain unchanged wo hamesha wohi past perfect continuous rahega coming towards the last tense which is future tense uh, future simple se start karenge kyunki future simple mein will use hota hai to will hamesha student jab hum indirect speech mein agar koi uh, sentence simple future mein hai to jab wo uh, indirect mein convert hoga jo will jo ha wo change ho jayega would mein आपको एग्जाम्पल से ज्यादा अच्छे से समझ आएगा लेट्स टेक एन एग्जाम्पल दैट दिस सेट टू मी वी विल हेल्प यू वेन वी कन्वर्ट दिस सेंटेंस इन टू इन डायरेक्ट स्पीच इट विल बिकम दिस सेट टू मी दैट दे वुड हेल्प मी टेक एन अनदर एग्जाम्पल दे सेट आई विल गाउ टू लंडन शी सेट दैट शी वुड गाउ टू लंडन then we have future continuous tense students future continuous tense mein hamesha will be used hota hai to jab hum is will be ko indirect speech mein convert karenge to it will become would be for example tabassum said i will be making tea so when we convert this tense into indirect speech it will become tabassum said that he would be making tea taken another example she said i will be feeding my kids she said that she would be feeding her kids now coming towards the last uh, tense that is future perfect tense in future perfect tense we always use will have to will have jo change ho jayega would have for example he said i will have clean the room when we convert this sentence into indirect it will become he said that he would have cleaned the room taken another example ali said i will have called a doctor when we convert this sentence into indirect speech it can be it will be ali said that he would have called a doctor so student this was all the changes in the tenses of we can say direct speech so now let's take an overview of these changes as for as present tense is concerned present simple tense is changing into past simple present continuous tense changes into past continuous present perfect changes into past perfect tense and present perfect continuous changes into past perfect continuous coming towards the past tense past simple changes into past perfect tense past continuous changes into past perfect continuous past perfect tense remain unchanged similarly like past perfect continuous both of these tenses remain unchanged when we want to convert these 
टेंसेस इनटू इनडायरेक्ट स्पीच सिमिलरली फ्यूचर सिंपल टेंस जिसमें विल यूज किया जाएगा वो कन्वर्ट हो जाएगा वुड में फ्यूचर प्रोग्रेसिव यानी कि फ्यूचर कॉन्टीन्यूस टेंस में विल बी वुड बी में कन्वर्ट हो जाएगा इसी तरह फ्यूचर परफेक्ट टेंस में विल हैव वुड हैव में चेंज हो जाएगा और इसी को कॉन्टीन्यू करते हुए फ्यूचर परफेक्ट कॉन्टीन्यूज में विल हैव बीन वुड हैव बीन में चेंज हो जाएगा सो so, स्टूडेंट ये थी वो चेंजेस जो हम टेंसेज में करते हैं जब डायरेक्ट को इनडायरेक्ट में चेंज करते हैं लेकिन इन चेंजेस को करने के लिए आपको टेंसेज का इल्म होना टेंसेज की इंफॉर्मेशन होना जरूरी है सबसे पहले इंपॉर्टेंट पार्ट ये है कि यू मस्ट नो यू मस्ट आइडेंटिफाई द टेंस ऑफ द सेंटेंस आपको टेंस पता होगा तो आपको अकॉर्डिंगली चेंजेस करना भी आ जाएंगे इट विल बी इजी फॉर यू टू मेक चेंजेस अकॉर्डिंगली